Good morning, my lovely students. I miss you so much. I hope you are fine. Today we are going to take a new grammar lesson, uh, present continuous. We are using the present continuous to talk about an action that is happening right now. Let's ask you, what are you doing now? You are listening to your teacher. What am I doing now? I am explaining the lesson. So what are you doing at the moment? What are you doing now? You use the present continuous. Let's hear, today we're going to know we have our lovely butterfly. Let's look at our lovely butterfly. Our lovely butterfly will help us to answer this present continuous. Let's see. Here, our butterfly consists of three main parts. The first one is verb to be, which is, consists of am and is and are. Let's remember together that I takes am and he, she, it take is and they, we, you take are. This is the first wing. Let's go to the body of our butterfly. It's the verb. And the verb, I told you before, that the verb is the action, the action that we are going to do, the action that we are doing now. Action is like eat, sleep, drink. And then let's move to the second part of our butterfly, which is the ing. So now I want you all to draw your own butterfly. And remember that it consists of three main parts. And I'd like to ask you something. Can the butterfly fly without her two wings? it should use her two wings. So, don't forget to use the three main parts. Let's here see the example. Let's say first that the present, uh, the, our butterfly, it changes a change, uh, it, uh, the verb into present continuous when she sees certain key words. These key words, it's look, listen, hush, now, let's say it again. Look, listen, hush, now. When our butterfly see, sees these key words, it stands on the flower and it put the, the verb into present continuous. Let's start here. I read a story now. Here, where is the key word that I told you? Let's go to our flower. We will find the key word now. So now here it's the key word for the present continuous. So let's see. Now if I want to answer this sentence, I have to go back to our butterfly. Okay, now I, I know that all of you draw your own butterfly. Let's look here. I will take am or is or are. Excellent. It will take am. So I finished the first part. Now I will move to the body of our butterfly, which is the verb. Where is the verb here? It's between the brackets. Here the verb, read. Let's look at this verb. What I'm going to do, I'm going to write it as it is, like this. And then I'm going to move to the third part, which is the ing, the second wing in the butterfly. So I'm going to add ing. So I am reading a story now. Let's do another sentence. They sleep now. Again, where is the key word? Excellent, it's now. And then, they will take am or is or are. They will take are. And then, I have to go to our butterfly. Where is the verb? Sleep. I'm going to write it as it is. And then I'm going to add ing. So, after I finish here these two sentences, I just want to make sure that I use the three parts. One, two, three. Am, and the verb, and the ing. Okay, and here, are, and the verb, and the ing. And then, I want to tell you something about our butterfly. Our butterfly, she was hungry, so she eats the letter E. Our butterfly eats the letter E. So now we want to help her. She doesn't want to this letter. So what I'm going to, to do if, I, if the verb ends with E? Let's see. If the verb ends with E, we cross the E and we add ING. Let's look here. Look, she drives a car. 
First, before we are going to answer this, where is the keyword? Excellent. The keyword is look. She. Let's draw our butterfly again. She will take am or is or are. She is going to take is. Here I have to go back to our butterfly because the verb here is ending with e. So I say again, if the verb ends with e, we cross the e and we add ing. So I'm going to write the verb without the e. Look, Junior, without the e. And where's our second wing? It's the, it's the ing. So I'm going to add the ing. Let's see another, exercise, uh, another sentence. The children ride their bikes. The children. Children is one or many. Excellent, they are many. If I want to erase the children, I'm going to write instead of children, they. Okay, so they will take am or is or are. Excellent, it will take are. So I'm going to write are. Let's move here to our verb, the body of our butterfly. Here the verb ends with e. So, if the verb ends with E, I will cross the E and I will add I N G. So, the children are riding their bikes. Now, I want you to, we are going to move to another two sentence. It's mixed between the first rule, which is the, uh, just you add I N G to the verb, and the second one that you, you cross the E and you put I N G. Let's see here. Come on, please, I want you all to draw your own butterfly. Sally, wash the dishes. Let's look at Sally, and let's go to our butterfly. Sally will take am or is or are. Excellent, it will take is. So this is the first part of our butterfly. Let's move to the body of our butterfly. Here, the body of our butterfly, it's without E. Let's look at wash. Here, look at the H, it's without E. So I'm going just to write the verb, and I'm going to add ING to the verb. Let's move to the second one. Mom, make a cake now. Mom is going to take am or is or are. Yes, mom is going to take is. This time I have to pay attention that the verb make ends with E. So, please underline E, and I want you all to cross the E. Excellent. We will cross the E because I told you before, if the verb ends with E, we, cro we cross the E and we add ING. So, I'm going to write the verb without E, and I'm going to write the second wing, which is the ING. Now, I want you to answer the rest of the exercises in uh, the grammar booklet, and I want every one of you to draw his own butterfly. Good morning. Today we are going to take a new vocab lesson. Let's see. Ride a bicycle. Look at the picture here. The boy is riding a bicycle. Eat ice cream. Here the girl is eating an ice cream. Make apple pie. Look at here gra grandma. She is making an apple pie. Build a snowman. Look here, the children are building a snowman. Fly a kite, the boy here is flying a kite. And build a tree house, here the boy is building a tree house. And we have another word like go to the beach, here the family are going to the beach. Drink hot chocolate, look here, the girl is drinking hot chocolate and you know that we drink hot chocolate in winter. Here the boy is, here the father is helping his son to make a swing. So look at the swing. They are making a swing. And we have another word here, plant flowers. Okay, this is our new vocab list. Let's do this exercise. We have to read the words before, choose the correct word. Plant flowers, apple pie, snowman, swing, and kite. 
Let's read the first sentence. I like making dots with my mom. Let's go back to our words. I like making plant flowers, apple pie, snowman, swing or kite. Yes, excellent, apple pie. So let's write it here and we cross it out. Let's move to the second one. We build a dot in Christmas. So we build plant flowers, snowman, swing or kite. Yes, we build a snowman. Let's write the word snowman. And snowman is one word. Number three, water is important too. Do you think we use water for what? For plant flowers or swing or kite? Yes, for plant flowers. So water is important too. Plant flowers. Number four, we use wood to make. I'm going to cross it out. We use wood to make swing or kite. We use wood to make swing. So we will cross it out and we are going to write swing. The last one. He is flying a. He is flying a kite. We use the verb fly when we use the word kite. Hope you enjoy our lesson. Uh, please answer the rest of the exercise in the vocab booklet. Thank you. Thank you.